Hello everyone. From today we'll start with C programming. So when you talk about C programming, uh, C is the programming language is there from last 44 years and it was created by a person called Dennis Ritchie. So this guy here. And so if you see the uh, Wikipedia page for C programming, it says it is designed by Dennis Ritchie. Uh, it's an imperative type of programming, also called as procedural. So it follows POP. Again, we'll discuss later what is POP. Uh, it, it was first appeared in 1972, 44 years ago. And uh, it supports multiple platforms. So you can run the same code in uh, Macintosh, you can run in Windows, you can run in Linux. Right, and it was influenced by a language called as B. Now, lots of people say there's no logic of having a language name called as C. It was just uh, he thought of putting at C. But the funda is it has since it is influenced by B language, that's why the language name is C. And after C, we have lots of languages which is derived from C language. Example C, then C sharp, Objective C, Java. So all these languages are based on C language. And that's why C is called as mother of all the languages. It's not the C is the first language. It's because C is the first complete language. So you're moving your step towards the one of the best language ever and that is C. So let's start with the programming itself. Uh, so when you talk about the C programming, you have to follow some syntax so because C is statically type language which we have to man maintain a proper syntax. Now what we'll do is we'll write a code just to print something. Whenever you, whenever you start with any programming language, maybe this is your first time you're learning a new language. So in your future, you'll be learning lots of languages, maybe C, C++, C Sharp, Java, Python. In all these languages, whenever you start with the first code, it should be of Hello World. Now it's not compulsory that you should use Hello World, it's just, you know, whenever you start any good work, you go for the inauguration. So imagine Hello World as the inauguration of programming languages. So what we'll do is we'll try to print hello world. Now whenever you say want, you want to print something. So when you say you want to print, uh, so you want to print on console. Now what is console? The output window is your console. This thing here is called as editor. Now you can use lots of editors or IDEs. Uh, I'm using here Xcode for, uh, so Xcode is a development tool for Macintosh. Uh, if you are a Windows user, you can use uh, Turbo C++, you can also use uh, Dave C++, there are lots of uh, IDEs for C for Windows. If you are using Linux, you can use GCC compiler. So there are lots of uh, IDEs available, so I will just suggest go to Google and search for different IDEs for C. Now what we'll do is we'll just print hello world here, so whenever you want to print something, uh, you want you to print it in the exact format, you have to use something called as double quotes. Now double quotes is used to print string. So what is string? It's a combination of characters. So if you have a combination of characters, it is called as a string. So you have to use something called as double quotes. Now C, as we know, C is basically procedural oriented programming, right, which is POP. So as we have seen in the Wikipedia page, it is it follows procedures. Now what is POP? Uh, POP is something, let's say you want to do some task in C, so everything is a procedure. So you want to achieve addition of two numbers, it's a procedure. If you want to uh, log into a system, that is a procedure. If you want to withdraw amount from your bank, that is a procedure. And this procedure in C is called as functions. So whenever you want to achieve anything in C, you have to create functions. Okay. So to print something, we need to use a function and that function is called as printf. And whenever you use functions, we have to give a round brackets and after a statement or after the line, you have to give a semicolon which defines the end of the statement. Okay, so once again, you want to print hello world here and to hello world is a string which is a combination of characters. So we have to use double quotes. And since you want to do a task, we need to use functions. So functions are basically used to do a task. And to print something, we have an inbuilt function, which is printf. So function can be of two types. It can be inbuilt function from C, or you can define your own functions. So how to define your own function, that we'll see later. Time being, we'll focus on inbuilt functions, which is printf. Now, when you say you want to print something, so we have printf, right? 
But whenever you want to execute your code, your code will need a starting point. And that starting point in C is called as main. So we have to define a main function. So main is a function here. Okay, since you are defining that function, you have to provide open braces and curly braces. So what this main will do will be defined by this curly bracket. So anything you define in this curly brackets, it will execute those tasks. So you cannot write a C code or you cannot execute a C code without main because main is the first thing your, your uh, CPU will execute for the C programming. Okay, so we have to say main printf. Now the second problem. We are using printf, right? And printf is a inbuilt function. So whenever you say you have something inbuilt, so where is it? Is it in the air or is it in your RAM or somewhere? So every method or every function in C will have a proper definition. So that definition is included in a file called as std.io. So it has a file and .h is the extension. Okay, so once again, whenever you want to use printf, which is a function, we need a definition for that function. So this definition will be available in this file, which is called as std.io, which is standard input output dot h. Now this h means header file. Okay, this, this h will be called as header file. Now it is header file, it's a file in which you'll be having all the definitions of functions. So printf is not the only function, right? There, there might be other functions. So all these functions will be defined in std or in any header file. It may be stdr.h, it may be abc.h, it, it, uh, it may be star star star.h, it can be any file, right? Now whenever you want to use or whenever you want to include a header file in your code, we need to use something called as include. So we use a keyword called as include to use this header file in your code. And when you want to use header file, we need to give this angular brackets. So angular bracket open and close. And so, that, that, so we have to use include and we have to mention the header file here. Now since we need to we need to we need to use this statement before printf while execution, we need to use something called as hash. Now hash is also called as preprocessor. So anything which is defined using hash is called as preprocessor. So that means before executing printf, it will first include all the files which is used with hash. Simple, right? And once you completed this code, now you have to run. Now how to run this in uh, Turbo C++? So you can see there's a there will be a sign uh, called as run in the menu. So if you click on run, it will execute your code in Turbo C++. Since I'm using Xcode here, uh, we'll be simply using a shortcut. You can also use, a, there's an option called as product. You can click on run or you can use a shortcut called as command R. So I will be using that command here. So it is command R and you can see it says build succeed and that's your output, which is hello world. Ignore the, ignore this line, which is given by your Xcode window. So our focus is this one which is hello world. So that's how you print your first statement in C programming. But there's a problem here. It says uh, type specifier missing. So default to int. Now what's that? So we'll, we'll solve this error in the next video. So, so thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can watch the further tutorials.